what is manufacturing execution systems? Really what we're talking about here are applications that generally sit on the shop floor and are collecting real-time data from the production process and the production sequence and providing that up to displays for operational kind of supervisors and management personnel, um, and in many cases capturing additional data too, so quality metrics, maintenance metrics, an understanding of what the kind of state of affairs are in terms of pressure or temperature or something like that within a machine or an application or a work cell. So they're gathering a tremendous amount of information and they're helping facilitate the production cycle. Again, it's up to the minute. So in many cases, these applications are gathering data every second, every minute, every cycle uh, that's occurring. And they're really, like I said, pulling that information out of the work centers and pushing them up into upstream applications. So where does MES fit? When you look at the broader landscape of uh, business applications, it kind of sits between something a little more around your shop floor execution. So if you look from here left to right, logic layers, process control layers, at this level, we're talking talking about SPCs, we're talking about integration into the applications. These are very technical and they're much more, in, in my mind, kind of integration level, right? It's where do we plug in? Where MES comes to play is it plugs into the tools and the work centers and the cells and the different machinery, but it is carrying information from the ERP side or the planning and scheduling side as well, right? So it knows which work centers are running which products on which cells at what time and with which operators in some cases, right? If you think about a controlled environment, where a specific operator needs to be certified to run a specific part or to operate a specific cell. So that detailed amount of data from the planning and scheduling side often is, is either living in MES or is ported into the MES application. And then it's most often tightly integrated with your laboratory management systems. MES is where you're going to document your KPIs and your various metrics. And in many cases, it's speaking very closely with your maintenance applications as well. So when we look at kind of how they fit together, what we see here on on the left is some visibility, information, details, and volume kind of on a scale. In many cases, from real time or very high to, to maybe lower. MES here is described in kind of the middle tier. So if you think about your daily users of MES applications, in many cases, they're your supervisors, your operations managers, your various technicians. The user base in an MES application is often the operators, the folks that are operating the cell or working on the line or reporting the scrap or reporting the finished good quantities. So that's kind of your data day user base. But again, if you think about the previous slide, MES applications do talk to the broader application landscape or ecosystem. So they are providing data that is fed up into potentially an ERP application, may make its way into a you know, business intelligence warehouse, uh, something like that. So there are reports coming out, even at a high level, that are supporting strategy and planning and so forth, where granted you're COO probably isn't watching the screen on the shop floor day in and day out, but collectively that information is getting summarized and reported against uh, through other applications. So the business functions, what is it that an MES application is really doing when we talk about production management? In many cases, they are the consumer of the production schedule. So they're taking the start times, the stop times, the cells or the routes that the product is moving through, and they're pulling that to start with. Naturally, they're tracking production. So if you think of reporting completions through different operations or steps, that often lives in an MES application and, and thereby is consuming kind of the materials and the usage, right? So it's providing us with a very detailed set of tracking, which is especially important in operations or clients where they may need to trace a part, not just to a work order or a batch, right, but down to the operator, the cell, the tool. If you need to get down to that type of level, MES, applications can be very effective in supporting that. Usually they've got some very deep quality integration. If they don't have a quality application themselves, they tie very nicely to it. So MES applications are often the ones that are pausing production or prompting technicians to run a certain set of diagnostics or quality tests and provide that input right back into the application. So collectively, they're kind of monitoring the conditions on the floor. Um, I mentioned just briefly earlier that many applications in the MES space collect more than just the operator input. So it may be more than just finished good reporting or material usage or quality, but they are oftentimes deeply integrated with machines and various sensors. So they're gathering information continuously about temperatures and cycle times and pressure and basically you name it, they can potentially be collecting that, which is very important, I think, on the maintenance side of the fence, right? We want to understand the conditions that drove the high scrap rate or that drove the faulty part, what was happening exactly at that point in time.
And then of course, as we mentioned, they, they're tracking all those kind of classic metrics, scrap, downtime, rework, and all of that is being reported generally through the MES application with or maybe without an operator, depending on the setup. 